Is the Clevabel Atlas the perfect all-in-one solution for your specific cable and landmine training needs? I have no clue because we've never met and honestly, I'm not sure what's going on in your gym. That being said, hopefully my thoughts on the subject can help you determine as to if this is the right tool for you. So stick around to find out. Before we get started, I am Matt Pendergraf and if you like what you see here, consider tickling the piss out of that subscribe button. And for even more home gym related content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and check out my website where I do written product reviews as well as offer up exclusive discount codes. So with all that out of the way, let's dive into this Atlas. First off, what even is this Atlas by Clevabilt? Well, simply put, it's a multi-grip attachment that can be used for both landmine and cable exercises. Its unique design allows it to easily be placed on a barbell for landmine rows or attached to a cable machine for lat pulldowns and cable rows, all without requiring additional components in order to make the transition. The Clevabil Atlas features three sets of grips positioned at varying widths. The narrowest set is spaced 8 inches apart, while the farthest is set at 30 inches apart. The middle set of grips, however, can be adjusted between 16, 19, or 22 inches simply by removing the hardware holding them into position using the provided Allen key. So I'm going to stop right here and point out two things that I really appreciate. First, I like the fact that they simply included the Allen wrench in with the attachment because I don't know about y'all, I can never seem to find my Allen wrenches when I need them. So to open the box and there one is, boom, such a nice touch. And second, I like that they added nylon washers underneath the bolts of the handles that can be adjusted. Therefore, if you want to actually take advantage of this feature and move your handles, you don't have to worry about the bolt heads marring up the finish of your attachment. Also, while I'm on the subject, all the hardware on this attachment is stainless steel, which not only further adds to the premium look of the attachment, it'll also prevent any kind of oxidation from occurring. Now, the handles on the Atlas are made from aluminum. They are six inches in length, 29 millimeters in diameter, and feature a passive yet steel knurling pattern to them. It's passive in the sense that it's not going to tear up your hands compared to something on the more aggressive side while still remaining quite grippy in comparison to a typical passive style knurling. I feel like that makes absolutely no sense yet could be the most sensible thing that I've ever said. Basically, you're just gonna have to trust me, the knurling on these handles is gold, you're gonna love it. When it comes to the body or the frame of this attachment, there are several notable features worth discussing. The Atlas is both compact and lightweight. Measuring 32 inches in length and just under 10 inches in height, this design allows for easy maneuverability around the gym, especially compared to the more cumbersome, bulky multi-grip attachments on the market. Similar to the handles, the body of the Atlas is also constructed from an aluminum and then further finished in an evenly applied powder coat. By utilizing mostly aluminum, Clevabilt has ensured that the attachment is not only durable, but also lightweight and easy to handle. At just under eight pounds, the Atlas weighs less than a gallon of milk. I mean, you wouldn't use a gallon of milk to let's say perform lap pull downs now, would you? Eh, I mean, that's borderline absurd, but a challenge nonetheless. Seriously though, the fact that this attachment is so lightweight makes it incredibly easy to take on and off your cable system without that fear of this thing falling down and killing you if you forget to set the stack pin. Now in my situation, my weight stack plates are 10 pounds each, therefore I can take this eight pound Atlas attachment, throw it up top, and it makes no difference whether that selector pin is installed or not because eight pounds weighs less than 10 pounds, there's no risk of it falling. That being said, I have another multi-grip attachment from another manufacturer that weighs 25 pounds. So if you put that up there and you forget to put the selector pin in there, boom, you're dead. Simple as that. You have to offset it by 25 pounds, which in this case will be 30 pounds, before you can basically break even and start adding weight. It's very dangerous. I don't use it for that reason. So I love the fact that this is eight pounds. It works extremely well in my situation. The shape of the Atlas is a distinct feature that has clearly received a significant amount of attention. Now, aside from just being aesthetically pleasing, the round cutaway section of the center edge combined with a slight curve of the overall design really allows the user to achieve a full range of motion during all the movements. I've found that the attachment nicely conforms to my body, especially the wider route I go on it. As mentioned, this is designed to be a cable attachment and a landmine handle. And with that being the case, Clevabilt could simply have just popped a couple of holes in this thing to accept a carabiner in the end of a barbell and called it good. Obviously, they chose not to do that, and thankfully so, because the end result is a thing of beauty. Starting with the landmine setup. The Atlas has an offset design which allows an additional three inches of sleeve space for plates, even though the actual grip length is six inches. 
Basically, what that means is that half the attachment is offset and hovers above the barbell collar rather than the entire attachment depth taking up space on the barbell sleeve. When positioned for landmine rows, the integrated barbell receiver sits lower than the handles. This alignment brings the attachment in line with the top of the weights, thereby enabling a more extensive range of motion. Acetyl flanges are integrated into both ends of the barbell receiver opening to prevent any metal-to-metal -metal contacts. Finally, sandwiched between the plastic flange and the Atlas body on the offset side is the stainless steel cable attachment loop. The connection loop is generously sized to fit even the largest of carabiners and feels incredibly sturdy as it is secured by three bolts. The integration of all the components in this particular section of the Atlas is something that I truly appreciate as I feel it contributes significantly to the premium aesthetics of the overall design. While I'm on the subject, I would like to point out that the configuration of the components in this landmine cable connection section differed slightly in earlier versions of the Atlas. Basically, the connection loop was originally sandwiched between the plastic and the attachment frame, which did cause some slight tilting during cable use. Cleverbilt has since resolved this issue by repositioning the loop to the inside of the frame, effectively eliminating any tilting and ensuring a completely balanced attachment. I personally love to see companies continually seek to improve upon their existing products rather than just ignoring them in favor of moving on to something else. So for that, good job Cleverbilt. So now that I've covered what I would consider to be the most noteworthy physical aspects of this Atlas, I'd like to share my personal thoughts and impressions about it with you. First, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. This attachment is in no way cheap. At $300, I'm sure a lot of people are going to dismiss it based on the price alone, and that's perfectly fine. I completely understand. I think it ultimately depends on what you personally value most when it comes to purchasing equipment. If you're looking for what I would consider to be the best, most premium multi-grip attachment on the market, and you like the idea of supporting a small American business in the process, then without a doubt, this Club of Bell Atlas is the right one for you. I guarantee you. However, if the cost seems excessive, or maybe you just don't prioritize cable or landmine exercises enough to invest the money in a product like this, then that is also completely fine. We all have varying degrees of interests and priorities when it comes to building out our gyms. For me, spending that extra cash on a premium product like this is worth it because it tends to enhance my overall experience, which in turn makes me more excited to actually use it. It's quite evident based on the design choices made that the company has invested a significant amount of time and effort into the development of this Atlas attachment. Basically, all that time and effort equates to dollars and then pair that with the fact that it's made right here in the United States and I mean, that's why it costs what it costs. It is what it is. Everything from the materials that it's constructed from down to the custom packaging that they're using to ship these out has been carefully thought out by Clubbuilt, and I very much appreciate that level of detail. So to summarize everything, the Atlas works quite well as a cable attachment and a landmine handle, and is easily something that I would recommend to someone looking for an all-in-one solution for their cable and landmine needs. You see what I did there? I just circled back to the question that I asked at the beginning of this video. Is the Cleverbell Atlas the perfect all-in-one solution for your specific cable and landmine training needs? I have no clue because we've never met and honestly, I'm not sure what's going on in your gym. And that is how it's done, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Other than that, till next time.